Your name and oh, sorry. My name is Neil Shirtcliffe, N-E-I-L, so it's an unusual one, and Shirtcliffe, S-H-I-R-T-C-L-I-F-F-E. It's quite a long, complicated one. It doesn't fit, always fit in the boxes where you're supposed to put your name. My mother says that I was always interested in science, and um, one of my, one of my favourite things was sucking little ants into those, um, those collection jars which have a straw on one end and a little filter in. And I used to like collecting insects in those. Um, when the people were burning them with magnifying glasses, I was just collecting them and seeing what they were. Um, what did you do with them? Uh, identifying them and then letting them, mostly letting them go. I was too kind to kill them. Um, I also looked after the school fish and things like that. My, uh, my, my parents are both teachers actually and my grandfather was a chemical engineer and so I sort of followed in that, um, not deliberately but accidentally. In bio I was most interested in biology but uh, in biology you had to write more and I was never really good at creative writing so I became more interested in physical, physical sciences rather than biology mostly because at A level, so I took, um, I took all sciences up to A level and at A level, biology became mostly writing a lot and drawing pictures, and I wasn't quite as good at that, so I became drawn more towards the physical parts. Um, right, well, at the moment, I'm in the process of changing contracts, and I'm, uh, I'm, on, a con I'm on a platform grant at the moment, which, is, um, which is covers the whole lab, and I'm, on, uh, I'm working to ensure that all of the projects in the lab succeed, and to generate new projects. It's a uh, it's more interesting and very exciting project because, uh, because it's less defined, so I can do things that come up. And we, if we have an idea, we can test it with my time without worrying that I'm supposed to be doing something else. So I can test things out. If they're interesting, we either get a student or we write a project to, do, to get somebody to do it. Or if it turns out to be something short, I can finish it off and write a paper or a patent or whatever. And, uh, and so that's the whole point of this, this funding, is to generate new avenues of research, and from my point of view, so that I get an idea of what research I would like to do when I leave and become, possibly become a lecturer. I'm not really roaming about trying to get things from everywhere. I'm trying to collect a small area so that we can um, use our expertise. And so uh, one of the things that we're, or my project is called, the, the um, the, the funding is called uh, the interface between solid and liquids and, uh, and it came about through our interest in superhydrophobic surfaces but it also connects to another person who's interested in, in uh, liquid crystals and you can use the interface between the liquid crystal and the solid to ensure that the liquid crystal has a certain directionality to it. Um, so what his, one of his in really interesting things is, a, is a devices that have two states uh, so it's a liquid crystal device that's either black or white, but you can switch it to black and then turn the power off and it stays black, and you can switch it to white and turn the power off and it stays white. And that's obviously useful because it saves a lot of power, um, although there are complications that means it doesn't always save a lot of power depending on what you actually do with it. Um, well, the best part is when you succeed, and the worst part is when you don't, um, which is pro possibly more so in science than in other things, because there are a lot of days where things don't work. Um, the worst thing that can happen is that you come in on one day and you break something, and so the next day, or probably more than a week, is be then spent fixing the things that you did on that day. So you've done negative work in a day, and obviously that's not great if that happens. Um, and there are other, other things can go wrong, or lots of things can go wrong. Um, but, uh, and good things that happen are, are when things get accepted, finally, when you've seen the, finally seen the back of some piece of work and you know that you don't have to do it again. I'm mostly hoping to, for the first time, successfully get some funding on my own. So I want to write a, a project and get some, some money, preferably get some money. It takes more than 12 months usually from the point you start writing it to the point you actually get the money, but I'd like to send some off. Um, I have sent some off in the past, but I haven't been successful, and I'd like to send some off this year and uh, be successful by, the, by two years maybe is more likely. 
I don't think I know what those are going to be yet. Um, I'm most interested in, in uh, power supplies and, um, well, I'm interested in a lot of areas actually. Um, a lot of our work, you just suddenly have an idea and it slips into a different area very quickly. So uh, one of the things that I did some time ago, um, we were looking at super hydrophobic surfaces and they, they kind of shine in a, in a silver reflective way if you put them in water. And we noticed, or I noticed, I remembered that, um, that uh, some water beetles do exactly the same thing. So we had a look at those and they do do exactly the same thing. And that was something that people hadn't connected before. It, both, both areas had been looked at, but nobody had connected the two areas together before. And I like doing things like that. It's where you have an idea and nobody's really had that idea before. And I don't think you can really predict what that's going to be um, because I'm not really working some, some scientists are really working, really focused to a, to a goal, a single goal, and they've already, always had this goal in mind and they might work over a, a series of projects towards it, but I'm not at that stage in my career yet that I can say I've, I've got that all arranged. And um, the people that I'm working with tend to work in several areas and they suddenly see something that connects things together and it's much more, well, it's not more interesting that way, but, but it's... Uh, it, it's different. There's, a, there's more chance of seeing something new um, that you weren't expecting. It is difficult. The area that I'm working in isn't too bad at the moment um, because super hydrophobic surfaces, um, the, um, the typical super hydrophobic surface is cabbage. Everybody knows what a cabbage looks like. If you pour water on it, most people can remember that the water that you pour on a cabbage kind of rolls off. and uh, if you're talking to somebody, there's often a plant, there are a lot of plants that do this. And uh, so there's often a plant that does it right in the area. Whoops. Um, so it's, not, it's a relatively easy thing to talk to people about. Um, my PhD was a lot more difficult. It was, uh, it was also fairly simple. It was about clays and sticking on things. But it, there were a lot of, of physical things involved and electronics and things. And so it was very difficult to explain that one. At the moment, it's not too bad. I'm not sure whether there is one. Um, what is a stereotypical scientist? There, once you, if you do science, I guess you realise that there aren't any. Um, um, from outside, you would assume that it's somebody who doesn't go out very much and who is really concentrating on one thing. Um, so the the typical genius is a is maybe a stereotypical scientist who concentrates on one thing and has no life apart from that. And certainly there is a pressure to be like that, um, but, uh, but I don't think I am one of those. Um, I do spend a lot of time doing other things and I have children and I know other people from outside work. And my wife doesn't work for me, which is a, a also a, possibly a stereotypical thing. I don't, know, don't think there are very many that actually do that, but that's the thing that people might imagine, that, that was the... Uh... Um, what do I do? Well, I've enjoyed doing... I bought a house when I moved to Nottingham. That was an interesting move for me. I got a, a house that was in reasonably bad condition and did quite a lot of, of uh, DIY to it, I guess you'd say, um, although some of it was quite extensive. And that I found that quite enjoyable. That was something that I really liked doing. Um, what else do I do? I used to do kayaking. I hurt myself, but I used to do whitewater kayaking. That was something that I used to really get on with. Um, and apart from that, um, yeah, I've got two children and I'm married um, to a German woman. So we're bringing up our children speaking two languages. At the moment, they speak both languages at the same time or at least the older one does, the younger one doesn't speak yet. Um, sh so she speaks both languages in the same sentence, but we're hoping to gradually get that into two languages. I don't know. Um, from... I would either be some kind of engineer building something, or a politician from a point of view that you probably should put something back into the society.